Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be diving into two personality disorders that can seem similar on the surface, borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. I believe that my last partner of two years could have both BPD and narcissism, depending on the day. While both BPD and NPD are classified as dramatic, emotional cluster B personality disorders in the DSM-5, there are some key differences between the two that are important to understand. To start, I'll give a brief overview of borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder, their diagnostic criteria, prevalence, and general characteristics. Then we'll get into the nitty gritty of how they differ in areas like self-image, interpersonal relationships, empathy, and more. I'll also touch on any similarities or overlap between the two to help explain and provide examples. I'll be referencing research and insights from experts in personality disorders like Dr. D. Pinsky, Dr. R. Dervascula, and Dr. Fox. My goal is to clarify the distinction between these two often misunderstood conditions. So whether you have BPD or NPD yourself, know someone who does, or are just seeking to expand your knowledge, stick around as we unpack the differences and nuances between borderline and narcissistic personality disorder. Borderline Personality Disorder Overview First up, let's overview borderline personality disorder, which is characterized by instability in interpersonal relationships, self-image, emotions, and impulsive behavior. Some key symptoms of BPD include intense fear of abandonment, whether real or perceived, unstable personal relationships that swing radically from idealization to devaluation, explosive anger or difficulty controlling anger, chronic feelings of emptiness, impulsivity with substances, sex, spending, etc., self-harming behaviors or suicidality, transient stress or paranoia, dissociation or detachment from reality. BP affects around 1.6% of the general population. Though rates may be higher in clinical settings, it is believed to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors, such as childhood trauma, abuse, or neglect. The disorder tends to emerge in the late teens or early 20s and is more prevalent among females. People with BPD often report feeling misunderstood, alone, empty, or flawed at their core. Their emotions tend to be labile, meaning they can quickly shift from positive to negative or back again. They struggle with a fragile sense of self and difficulty maintaining stability. Narcissistic Personality Disorder Overview Now let's give an overview of Narcissistic Personality Disorder which is characterized by an exaggerated sense of self-importance, need for admiration, and lack of empathy. Key traits of NPD include grandiose sense of self, believing they are superior, special, or unique, fantasies of unlimited success, power, beauty, or ideal love, strong sense of entitlement and expectation of special treatment, preoccupation with themselves and tendency to exploit or manipulate others, lack of empathy or unwillingness to recognize others' needs, obsession with fame, wealth, status symbols, requirement of excessive, unwarranted admiration, arrogant, hardy behaviors or attitudes, NPD affects around 6.2% of the U.S. adult population. Like BP, it also seems to stem from a combination of genetic risks and environmental factors. These may include childhood emotional neglect, overpampering, or parents who model narcissistic behaviors. NPD typically develops by early adulthood and occurs at similar rates among males and females. People with NPD are often viewed as self-centered, egotistical, and vain but underneath their grandiose bravado is often fragility, insecurity, and hypersensitivity to criticism. Key differences between BPD and NPD. All right, 
Now that we have a general overview of both disorders, let's dig into some of the key differences between borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. One sense of self, one major distinction between BP and NPD relates to the individual's sense of self. Those with BP tend to have an unstable or weak sense of self. Their self-image shifts rapidly from positive to negative, often based on their latest interaction or how others perceive them. There are chronic feelings of emptiness and not knowing one's true identity. Impulsivity can be a way to fill the emptiness or search for an identity. In contrast, those with NPD have rigid, grandiose sense of self. They have an overinflated ego and sense of superiority over others. Their identity centers around being special, successful, powerful, or admired. Underneath is fragile self-esteem, but this is obscured by conceit and self-enhancement. To attention and validation seeking, both BP and NPD involve desperate desires for attention and validation from others. But the motivations behind this differ. Those with BP passionately seek to avoid abandonment. They crave reassurance that others care about them and won't leave. Their extreme reactions are attempts to elicit caretaking or prevent abandonment. In NPD, the need for attention and admiration relates to bolstering the grandiose self. They seek endless compliments, flattery, and external proof of how great they are to regulate their self-esteem. It's less about abandonment and more about seeking admiration. Three interpersonal relationships. When it comes to personal relationships, individuals with BP and NPD also diverge. People with BP form intense, unstable relationships that can shift rapidly from idealization to devaluation or vice versa. There is fear of engulfment mixed with fear of abandonment. Their anger when needs aren't met or abandonment seems imminent can lead to damaged relationships. Those with NPD have shallow relationships based around exploitation, control, or enhancing the self. There may be brief idealization of new relationship partners until they disappoint or threaten the fragile ego. Then, devaluation, belittling, or discarding occurs. They lack genuine interest in two-way relationships. For empathy and exploitation, both BP and NPD involve challenges with empathy and exploitation of others. But once again, the motives differ. With BP, there are deficits in cognitive empathy or understanding others' perspectives, but not necessarily emotional empathy. They desperately want to connect and can feel emotions intensely. However, their hyper-focus on having their own needs met makes it hard for them to tune into others' needs. In NPD, the lack of empathy is more purposeful and tied to exploitation. They deliberately manipulate and use people with little remorse. The main motive is having needs satisfied, acquiring status or power, or filling inner emptiness, not connecting mutually. 5. Anger and Rage Intense, frequent anger and rage outbursts are hallmark symptoms of both BP and NPD. However, the triggers for these anger episodes differ. For BP, it's usually anger at perceived abandonment or rejection. The rage is a desperate attempt to prevent the loss of a relationship that would confirm their worst fears about themselves or leave them alone. In NPD, rage is usually in response to ego injury criticism, perceived lack of respect, challenges to their inflated self-image, or anything threatening to their grandiosity. The function is to reassert dominance and protect the fragile true self. Six treatment approach us. When it comes to treatment, different approach us work best for BP and NPD. For BP, dialectical behavior therapy or DBT is often effective. This focuses on distress tolerance, interpersonal skills, emotion regulation, and instilling a sense of worth. Schema therapy and mentalization are also helpful. 
treatment rallies heavily on a strong therapeutic alliance. With NPD, talk therapy may have limited benefit due to defensiveness and lack of self-awareness. Schema therapy can be useful by targeting underlying shame and needs for attention and status. For progress, the individual must recognize their challenges and need to change which many resist. Seven overlap between BPD and NPD. While BPD and NPD have many distinct features, research shows there is also some overlap between the two. Both involve unstable behavior and relationships, impulsivity, anger issues, and emotional volatility. Those with both BPD and NPD features are especially troubled by brief psychotic episodes during stress. Around 15 to 25 percent of people with BPD also meet criteria for NPD and vice versa. Substance abuse problems are common in both BPD and NPD. Suicidality can be a serious complication of both disorders. Cognitive empathy deficits exist in both BPD and NPD, though more severe in NPD. People with either disorder often end up seeking treatment for the fall out of failed relationships or substance abuse rather than personality issues. Stigma exists around both diagnoses, which can create barriers to effective treatment. So while they have many crucial differences, BP and NPD also share some common ground that is important not to overlook. Eight examples comparing BP and NPD to help summarize some of the key distinctions between BP and NPD, let's go through some example scenarios and analyze whether the person is showing more borderline or narcissistic traits. Example 1. Tyler seems charming and popular on the surface, but actually has no close friendships, only superficial relationships. He loves bragging about his accomplishments or flashy possessions. When people don't praise him, he cuts them out of his life. He's willing to exploit friends, family, and romantic partners without remorse to serve his own agenda. This sounds more consistent with NPD. The lack of close relationships, constant need for admiration, willingness to exploit people, and absence of empathy all point to narcissism over borderline PD. Example 2. Kyla feels empty inside and constantly fears friends and partners will leave her. She has trouble controlling her anger when someone cancels plans or seems to pull away from her. Her mood shifts from baseline to inconsolable despair over minor events. She idolizes new partners at first before claiming they never cared about her. She's made multiple suicide attempts when relationships have ended. Kyla seems to fit the pattern of BP more closely. The emotional roller coaster, emptiness, fears of abandonment, anger issues, shifting idealization and devaluation, and suicidality when rejected all align with borderline personality disorder. Example 3. Miles seems full of himself and entitled to special treatment, but his arrogance hides deep insecurity. He wilts in the face of criticism, rages when he feels disrespected, and sinks into shame after public failures. He longs for high status and admiration, but simultaneously fears being exposed as a fraud. His shaky self-confidence causes his narcissistic traits to be more inward than outward focused. This example demonstrates how narcissistic and borderline traits can overlap. Miles shows overt narcissism with his arrogance and need for status, but also borderline like insecurity, shame, and fear of exposure. It highlights the fluidity between different personality disorder traits. Conclusion So in review, while borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder stem from emotional dysregulation and share other common ground, they have many distinct features in terms of self-image, relationships, empathy, and more. Being able to recognize these nuances can help those afflicted access proper treatment and shed light for loved ones supporting someone with BPD or NPD traits. 
but many open questions remain about the causes and optimal therapies for both challenging disorders. I hope this overview has helped provide a helpful framework for differentiating between borderline and narcissistic personality disorders. Let me know in the comments if you have any other insights into how BP and NPD converge or diverge. Thanks so much for watching.